said, don't be deceived, brother. Don't be tricked. Be on point. Read on. Don't be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. That's what's going on in Chicago. Evil communications. We call it rap music today. We call it the shy. We call it all this move, this garbage that we see on TV. At one point, my brother, believe it or not, Chicago was a good community. At one point, Chicago was a good community. Black people love one another. Black women love one another. Black men love one another. But the crackers, white man, devil, put guns in the neighborhood. Put drugs in the neighborhood. We put, we like to glorify Gangster disciple. We're not supposed to be that. We're not supposed to be gangster disciple. We're supposed to be God's disciple. Not lowercase GD, capital GD, God disciple. We are God. Black men is God. We're not supposed to be in no gang. That's a child's thing. Crip, Crips was created by teenagers. You black men as Crip, blood, those are teenage religions. You're following children. You're supposed to follow God's people, the Messiah. Read this. Evil communications corrupt good manners. We're not supposed to follow evil, brothers. We ain't supposed to follow evil. Why? Because we are the sons of God. The sons of God are supposed to follow what? The Bible. You understand that, brother? We got to follow the religion. Us all, give me Titus. The second chapter and the second verse. Older men, y'all got a big job to do. A lot of you men, or you older men are dead. But today is resurrection day. So it's time for you to come back, brothers. You men got to set up. You got to stand up. Read. This is the book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 2. That the aged man. What is the aged man? You older men. A lot of you older men are scared. You on drugs. You're scared. You let the woman run you. You let the woman tell you what to do. Not the Israelite. The Israelite are not allowing their woman to tell them what to do. The Israelite is not allowing gang members to tell them what to do. The only person that can tell us what to do is who? God. Got me? Read this again. That the aged men be sober. We got to be sober. We can't. We got to stop getting drunk, family. We got to stop smoking weed. We got to stop doing that K2. We got to stop doing fentanyl. We got to stop doing that got them drugs. The Bible says be what? Sober. 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 Clear minded. That's what it mean to be sober. To hell with the weed. That ain't good weed you smoking anyway. Y'all smoking Chicago's trash. Y'all smoking New York trash. Y'all smoking Mexico trash. Don't smoke at all, brother. The Bible says we be sober. Read on. That the aged man be sober. Why? They got liquor on the corner. Liquor stores everywhere. We're not supposed to be getting drunk. Right. You got that? Because when you drunk, you can't lead. When you high, you can't lead. Right. You understand that? When you follow your woman and tell and she tell you what to do, you can't lead. That's not a sober man. That's a weak man. We don't. Grave. Grave. What does the word grave mean? It means serious. You black men gotta stop playing around. We're not, our life, we're not supposed to be Kevin Hart and Chris Rock and all these comedians. We got to be grave, meaning what? Serious. A black man supposed to be serious. Not everything is that damn funny. Be serious. You talk to black men today, what's their conversation? Hoes, sports, LeBron James. We got to come out of there. We got to be serious about building the children of Israel. You black people, read. Temperate. Temperate meaning patient. We got to be patient with our people. Because right. we understand a lot of us is destroyed. Right. Like I said before, at one point, Chicago wasn't like this. At one point, New York wasn't jacked up. Right. At one point, Atlanta wasn't like this. Right. We had our own communities. Right. But you know what? We let the devil deceive us. Right. And we started doing drugs. Right. Isn't it a coincidence that in the 50s and 60s, we started rising up, fighting for civil rights, Screaming black power. Well, isn't that a coincidence? And then they killed all the leaders. And right after that, the 70s come. Heroin is pushed in the neighborhood. You think that's an accident? You think that's a coincidence? That is called a demonic plot. 
by the white man. Right after heroin, we had the crack in the 80s. Right after the crack era, we had gangster rap in the 90s. So we've been attacked spiritually. Give me that Ephesians. Rest, oh, flesh and blood. Six and eleven. Give me that. You understand that, right, brother? This is not by this is not by accident. This was by design. We was rising up. We had the Martin Luther King. He tried his best. Martin Luther King, he tried. Malcolm X, he tried. He would be new and he tried. Bobby Seale, he tried. Who was the brother of Chicago over there? Fred Hampton, he tried. He was 19 years old. Trying to lead the people. What these 19 year old niggas doing today? Selling drugs. Back then, 19 year olds was about freedom and revolution. He was screaming, I am a revolutionary. Remember that? That's what he was saying. Today we say, I am an Israelite. Now read this. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 6 and verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Right now, it's a spiritual war. It's mental. A lot of our people in the game because their mind been destroyed. But we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, carnal things, weapon. We don't. But against principality. But against what? Principalities, meaning rulership. This American government is against us, brothers. As this American government is against us, brothers, this white man don't care about us. I don't care if he call himself Democrat, Republican. He's a devil. Talk to me. Has voting worked? Hell no. Chicago been the same for years. Donald Trump was right. All of these Democratic niggas, they put us in captivity. They don't do nothing for our people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Read it again. Read it again. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 6 and verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. The Bible said we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principality. What's a principality? The kingdom of this world. America. Your mayor. Your governor. Your city councilman. Your senator. What did Obama do for his people in Chicago? Nothing. Against powers. Because look. We all voted for Barack Obama when we used to vote. We wanted to see that brother make change in the community. But we, we realized something. Obama did not do nothing for black folk. Obama did things for gay people and Asians and other communities, not ours. You understand that? We was proud to see the first black president. But did he do anything for us? Think about it, my brother. He didn't do it. He even said, he said in the interview, he ain't just the president for black people, he's the president for all people. When he said that, we knew he wasn't for us. You understand that? Because when you mean you say the president for all people, that means you really ain't the president for black people. Right. Feel me? Because who did he help? Gay people. He helped other races. Your Joe Biden today is helping Ukraine. He's helping these Russians. He's helping these other people, not us. We got to get out of the church. We got to get out of the Democratic Republican Party. We got to follow God now. Right. To hell with following principalities, policies. We got to follow God. Against the rulers of darkness of this world. Who's the ruler of the darkness? Who's the ruler of the darkness? The ruler of the darkness is the white man. He the one that say it's okay to be gay. Is that, is that a sin? Yes, you damn right it is. The Bible is against homosexuality. Get that, please. Leviticus. I know some of y'all about to get offended, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Read this. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 18 and verse 23. Yeah. 22. Verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. You hear that, brother? The Bible say two men ain't supposed to lie down together. Yeah. Two men ain't supposed to do that. I know a lot of gang members, gangster disciples, that's DL, down low. They, they, they kill us in the street and they kill booty at night. <laughs> pause, pause, pause. Read it again. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. The Bible said homosexuality is a sin. Lesbianism. LGBTQ community is a sin, brother. That's destroying the family. That's 
depopulation. They're trying to destroy the population. Right. Two men laying together, where's his seed? Where's his fruit of this child? It ain't there. If two women lay together, where's the fruit of their child? It ain't there. The Bible says happy when you have kids and a quiver full of them. I'm paraphrasing. Supposed to have kids. But this LGBTQ community is a sin. It is a sin. The same brothers that be in the projects acting hard and gangster, they be down low dealing with trannies. Because you got to ask yourself, if they're not gay, why are they in the neighborhood? They sleeping with somebody. Somebody want that man's butt. <laughs> somebody. It ain't just in Atlanta and New York and all these in San Francisco. That's everywhere. This LGBTQ community. Yes, sir. Read this. Psalms 127 and 3. So the most I said, don't follow that garbage. So we not so men, black men, you cannot be gay. Not supposed to do it. When I was growing up, the word gay mean happy. Ain't nothing happy about being LGBT. That's a sad life. That's a life full of AIDS and HIV. Yuck. Read this. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 127 and verse 3. No, children are an heritage of the Lord. The Bible says you got to have kids. Kids are your heritage, having children. You grew up with your grandparents at 8, 9, 10. When you was one of 12. Today... What are they trying to teach our women? Abort the babies. Abort the children. You black woman that's committing abortion, there's a judgment for you. There's a judgment for you. And you know what? I know sometimes the nigga leave. So sometimes women got that dilemma in their mind. You know what? Maybe I should abort this baby because I know that nigga ain't going to take care of it. But that's the wrong thinking. You woman, you're not supposed to be having sex with just any man. You're supposed to get married to the man, then have sex. You brothers, you're not supposed to be having sex with just all these women. That's a sin. These black men today are experts of having sex, but novices in raising children. Read this. Lo, children are in heritage of the Lord. Children are in heritage. What children? The Israelite children. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. And the fruit of the womb is a reward. It's a reward. Not a curse. Because a lot of time when black men, when we have a lot of kids, what niggas say? Ew. Why you got all them kids? Don't be they saying that? But they don't understand that having children, good children, is a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing from who? God. As sorrow in the hand of, the, of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. So it's like having a lot of arrows in your hand. It's like that. You ever seen an uh, archer shoot arrow and he's mighty with it? It's like that with your kids. You're supposed to be like, yo, I want three kids. I want five kids. I want seven kids. I want 12 kids. That's how you're supposed to think. Now, if you can properly take care of them, don't just have children everywhere. You got to have children. Give me that Hebrews uh, 13. You got to get married. A lot of our brothers, they're not getting married. They're just sleeping around. Can't do that. That's a sin. That's how you get STD and herpes. Herpes simplex 8, 7, and 9. Whatever. Now read this. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is horrible and all. The reason why the black community is destroyed, because we don't got a strong foundation of marriage. We just sleeping around. If you sleep with the wrong Negro, your children are going to grow up to be wrong Negroes. Right. You understand that? These women be like, he don't take care of my, he don't take care of the kids. You knew that already. You knew that already. You knew when you laid down with him, he was no good. Then you want to blame black men and raise your black son the same way that he left you. Now read this. Marriage is honorable and all, and the bad undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So if you're in the midst of being a whoremonger, meaning sleeping around with all these women, or adultery, meaning cheating on your wife, God going to judge you. How God judge you? AIDS. Come, brother, come, brother. Brother, come. What's this? Come, brother, right here. You, why you don't want to listen to God's word? Bring it up. Atheist, listen, listen. I used to be atheist as well because the Christian church taught us wrong. Christianity made black people atheists. They taught us that angels are flying around with wings and babies and everybody's white and they don't make no sense. The Bible is the most realest book on the earth. Give me 2 Timothy 3. I'm going to show you something. 
Let me show you something, my brother. The proof the Bible is real. We've been showing proof all day. But I'm going to show you something that we see in the hood. The Bible documented. Read this. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3 and verse 1. This know also. This know also. That in the last days. When are we in? The last days. Remember grandma spoke about the last days? She was right. But she didn't have the full understanding like we do. We are in the last days. Armageddon is soon to come. This place, America, is about to be destroyed. It's called Babylon the Great in the Bible. The last days. Know this also. I'm sorry. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Perilous meaning crazy. And it's going to be in the last days. Dangerous times. For men shall be lovers of their own self. Do we not see that today? Men love their own selves. Don't give a damn about their community. They'll kill each other just to have a damn gold chain around their neck. Covetous. Covetous. Well, a nigga will kill another nigga for some Jordans, for some retro eights that came out in the 80s. <laughs> They'll kill each other for some sneakers. Covetous, meaning desiring that which is not yours. Boasters. Boaster meaning proud. A lot of Negroes is proud of being from the hood. That ain't nothing to be proud about. You're supposed to get angry because your condition is like this. To hell with the hood. To hell with the hood. To hell, the hood never did us good. Read this. Proud blasphemers. A lot of our people are in the midst of blasphemy. Like he said, I'm an atheist, meaning he don't believe in God. A lot of us believe white people are the Jews. That's blasphemy. Black people are the Jews. Read. Disobedient to parents. Read it again. Disobedient to parents. You notice that today? The kids are disobedient to their parents. That's in the Bible. That the children will be disobedient to their parents. That's what the hood is about. The hood is about young kids disrespecting their elders. And that's why a lot of them going to die. Give me the law and commandment on honor your uh, father and mother. You understand that? There's a reason why a lot of the young kids die. God told you in the Ten Commandments. Watch this. Read this. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 12. Honor thy father and mother. The Bible says honor your what? Father and mother. Honor. The word honor means respect. Honor thy father and thy mother. That thy days may be long upon the land. You notice that? God said if you honor your father and mother. Meaning respect your parents. You would live long on the earth. That's right. So when young people getting killed and murdered in the street. What's going on? They're not honoring their father and mother. That's one of the ten commandments, the fourth. Read it again. Honor thy father and thy mother. Honor thy father and your mama. You're supposed to respect them. That thy days may be long upon the land, which the Lord thy God giveth thee. So when young people die early, teenage years, under 21, is too young to die, brother, because they're not following Respecting their parents. That's a basic law that we're breaking. God said if you follow it, you're going to live long. We got people that live in their 70s, 80s. Why? Because they respected grandma. They respected grandpa. They respected the uncles. They respected the elders of the community. But today, you know why them kids getting killed at 14, 15, 13? They have no respect for their elders. And guess what? God killing them off. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Strong in the Lord, his voice.